There are some pretty big moves happening in Dogecoin right now that you may not be aware of, but whales obviously exist in every single coin, okay? But this was from the number one largest holder, number one, guys, largest holder of Dogecoin in all of crypto. So what they did was over the last 24 hours, they actually moved almost 4 billion Doge. So that's $280 million, if you guys wanted the number, from their wallet to the number five wallet. So this could be one of a couple things, okay? This could be obviously a, a private sale. This could be a redistribution. This could be moving it, you know, from one wallet to another, okay? Either way, as long as it's not going to an exchange to get dumped, I'm okay with that, right? I think we can all, all agree with that, right? Now, these wallets have done some regular, regular purchases, regular buys, you know, they're active wallets. They're not big dormant wallets. So it's not like it's anything to really be concerned about. Like they're not waking up from dormancy to, to start dumping on your heads or anything like that, at least as far as we know. But Dogecoin right now, it, it needs a little help, okay? Over the last seven days, you know, Dogecoin obviously sits in the top 10 right now, but over the last seven days of, of the top 20 coins, Dogecoin has the largest drop, okay? Down about 17.5%. There's two things that need to happen for Dogecoin to really get a nice sustained pump. Okay, we obviously saw, you know, it ran up in the past couple months here to 15 cents. We're all like, yeah, this is awesome, right? Six cents flat for the longest time up almost a 3x. Okay, that's that's fantastic. Okay, but what needs to happen, okay, is firstly, the market needs to start to recover. We have to get through these macro factors that are currently affecting the market. We know, obviously, interest rates are high continue to go higher. They're going to be going higher over the next couple months. We know that inflation is still high. It's coming down. It's getting better down to 7.1% right now. This is, this is a good thing. Okay. But there's still these things that are just weighing down in the market. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of negative sentiment that's going around and that's not helping anything with the price of crypto. I mean, for example, you know, Dogecoin, keep in mind in, in the weekly there, Dogecoin is not the only one that's down. I mean, almost everything is down double digits when you look at the top 20 coins, okay? That's just where the state of the market's at right now. Now, that's the first thing. Secondly, Dogecoin is going to need some sort of development. Now, obviously, people love that Dogecoin is the meme coin, right? It's the, the, the granddaddy of all meme coins, okay? There have been others that have tried to replicate what Doge has done, but have unsuccessfully done so. So others now have tried to change the narrative, flip, start development, and do their own thing. And I think for Dogecoin to really have sustained success as we look into the future, there needs to be some sort of development happening. Now, obviously, Elon Musk has hinted, you know, about Doge, some sort of Dogecoin integration with Twitter. Obviously, we don't know if that's going to happen. That's all just speculation at this point. That's why we had that run up over the last couple months. But this needs to happen as we get to a time where utility is going to be the driving factor for crypto. So think about this, right? I talk a lot about, you know, ecosystems. There are lots of coins that are starting to build out ecosystems, some more successfully than others, obviously. People want not just even one use case anymore. They want, they want multiple utilities in different areas of Web3, okay? Dogecoin has the opportunity to do this. There's a huge opportunity from the community to get to this point. It really just needs a push in the right direction. I think there could be pumps for Dogecoin, but I think if we really want to see Doge succeed, get back up to that, that high 72 cent level where it was before, it's going to need some sort of development. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I could be, right? I'm just a guy here with a YouTube channel. But People want more from crypto now, especially in these, these bear market cycles. This is not the first one that Dogecoin has been, been through, right? But this is the one where it was most successful now having retraced through a market cycle, if that makes sense. But as always, appreciate you guys stopping in, checking out the video. I think the long-term success for Dogecoin could still be fantastic. I think there's still a lot of upside to be seen and... We'll obviously see what happens. But as always, this is not financial advice. Definitely do your own research. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. And I hope to see you in the next one.